Hello, good morning students. In previous class, we discussed regarding theoretical concepts related to static indeterminacy of structures. In this particular tutorial, we are going to discuss regarding numerical problems related to static indeterminacy of beams. So determine the degree of static indeterminacy of beams shown in figure. So I have given uh, different types of beams, simple beams, proper cantilever, fixed and continuous beam. For these structures, we have to compute static indeterminacy. So I have already clearly explained the concepts. Basically, static indeterminacy depends on main factors like internal forces developed in the members of the structures and external support reactions and also joint equilibrium conditions. There are three major factors. One is internal forces developed inside the structures, external support reactions and also joint equilibrium conditions with respect to type of structure. So uh, with this, we have already known that if M number of members present in a structure and J number of joints present in a structure and also R number of external support reactions are provided at the ends with help of supports in a structure, then the total degree of indeterminacy is given by that is number of internal forces plus number of external reactions minus joint equilibrium conditions. Regarding this already we discussed in last tutorial. Okay. And also external indeterminacy is given by E equal R minus 2. Using these two empirical relation, we are solving all these problems. Okay. So and also I will explain some more important concepts that is regarding uh, with respect to beams. One is axially rigid and another concept is axially not rigid. What exactly the meaning of axially rigid and axially not rigid? Say for uh, consider example of fixed beam. Say for example fixed beam. What is mean by axially rigid? Be careful. You just observe over here. Axially rigid means if you consider fixed support, how many reactions will develop at fixed support? There are three reaction. One is vertical reaction, another one is horizontal reaction and another one is moment. Right? If auxiliary rigid matlab, I am ignoring the horizontal reaction. Why? Because the horizontal reactions is developed in the axis of the member. The horizontal reactions is because of axis of the member. Practically, the, here there is very very negligible deformations in axis. Hence, we are assuming. We are assume if we are assume going to assume axially rigid, we are going to ignore the horizontal reaction. Okay. If uh, axially not rigid means you are going to consider all three reactions at this support. If you are assuming axially rigid, then you have to ignore horizontal reaction at both the supports. Then what happens? Here also there is only two supports reactions. Here also only two support reactions. Totally only four support reactions in the case of axially rigid. If it is axially not rigid, then whatever the reali realistic uh, uh, number of reactions we have to consider. We are going to consider that is three here. 3 here, totally 6. If it is axially not rigid, the total number of external support reactions is 6. If it is axially rigid, then the total number of external support reactions are 4. 2 plus 2. Clear? Now, we will go one by one. First, simply supported beam. C. In step 1, identification of requirement of data to equation substitution. So, I require member forces and number of members I require joints number of joints I require external support reaction right so here AB is the beam only one member AB joint there are two joints A and B how many reactions there are two reactions VA and VB 
So in once you determine the required parameters, then substitute in equation. What is total static indeterminacy of the structure? I equal 2m plus r minus 2j. Substitute the parameters, then you are getting total indeterminacy of the structure is 0. Once you are getting total indeterminacy of the structure is 0, matlab, both internal as well as external is 0. Hence, the given beam is statically determinate. So, what is mean by statically determinate? These reactions and internal forces are easily determined using equations of equilibrium. Using equations of equilibrium. So, next we go for the second problem that is proper cantilever beam. In case 1, I am assuming that axially not rigid. Axially not rigid means what I am, my assumption is this is present because it is axially not rigid. If it is axially rigid, I have to ignore the reaction developed with respect to axis of the member. With respect to axis of the member. So, if it is axially not rigid, hence consider this HA also. Clear? So, how many number of members? There are only one member AB. How many joints? There are two joints A and B. How many reactions? VA, VB, HA and MA. Totally 3 plus 1, 4 reactions. These are the parameters required. Now, directly substitute these parameters in final equation 2M plus R minus 2J. I am getting total static indeterminacy as 2. Compute external indeterminacy using equation E equals R minus 2. You are getting 2. So, uh, you can easily say that the given beam is externally indeterminate and internally it is determinate. Why? Because internal indeterminacy is 0. Hence, it is externally determinate of degree 2. Now, case 2, we are going to assume the beam axially rigid then the only thing is i'm ignoring horizontal reaction i'm ignoring ha then what happens the only change in total number of reactions it will become 2 plus 1 3 because of this modification what happens my total static indeterminacy will changes so you substitute two equations then you are getting one external indeterminacy also one. Hence, the given when you are assuming axially rigid, the structure is externally indeterminate of order 1 and it is internally determinate. The concept is clear, it seems. Okay, it is axially rigid and axially not rigid. Generally, we are assuming that axial rigid concept in theory of structures. See here in this problem, I am assuming it is axially rigid. Hence, in third problem of fixed ribbon, I am ignoring HA and HB. How many number of members? Only one member AB. How many joints? There are two joints A and B. Clear? And how many reactions? There are at joint A. If I ignore HA, only two reactions. If at joint B, I am ignore HB, only two reactions. Totally, it will become four reactions. Substitute to equation, total indeterminacy will become 2. Similarly, external indeterminacy, R minus 2, it is also 2. Hence, the given fixed beam, when it is actually rigid, then it is externally indeterminate of order 2 and internally it is determinate. Clear? Next, the fourth problem, it is a continuous beam and also here my assumption is axially rigid. That's why I am ignoring HA value. Clear? That's why I am ignoring HA value. Hence, if you ignore HA, only two reactions at A. VB will develop one reaction and VC at C. So, total number of reaction will become four. Okay, there are two members AB and BC. How many joints? There are three joints A, B and C. There are three joints. Clear? Substitute the values in final equation. We are getting total indeterminacy is 2 and external indeterminacy R minus 2. We are getting also 2. Hence, the given continuous beam is externally indeterminate of order 2 and it is internally determinate. So, this is, this is regarding axially rigid and axially not rigid only for beams. Clear? So, in next... Uh, 
problem. So here some special cases say imposed it is internal hinges are imposed in the beam structures. Then how to solve? It's a very very important thing. Okay, generally don't assume here axially rigid uh, uh, concept here. You just consider what is actual reaction for computation. So I will give a very simplified empirical relation to compute total indeterminacy for these kinds of structure. Okay, you just apply those uh, modified equations. So that is very very simple. First compute external support reactions for the given structure. Compute external support reactions. And also uh, play equilibrium equations, a so number of equilibrium conditions. Generally, there are three number of equilibrium conditions, sigma v equals zero, sigma h equals zero, and sigma m equals zero, and number of hinges. With, with res using only these three parameters, uh, I will give one simple empirical relation. See, if h equal number of internal hinges, if e equal number of equilibrium equations, and if R equal number of support reactions, then the total degree of indeterminacy with internal hinges is given by total indeterminacy equal total number of reactions, external reactions minus equilibrium equation minus number of hinges. Clear? Yeah. So, uh, in first example, see here, it is hinge, it will develop two reactions, here one VB, here one VC. Uh, how many number of hinges are there? One, only one hinge. How many number of static equations are available? Generally, three equations. All equations are available when we are solving beam sigma v equals zero, sigma h equals zero, and sigma m equals zero. So, how many external support reactions are there in particular problem? There are at a two plus one three plus one four. There are totally four number of external reactions. Clear? Then use these parameters in the final equation. What is final equation? I equal R minus E minus H. Clear? Then you are getting zero. Hence the given structure is statically determinate. Clear? Similarly, second problem. Here I have given fixed support. So there are three equations we develop at fixed support. VA, HA and MA. And there are two hinges are given. There are two hinges are given. Also, this kind of supports will generate horizontal reaction and rotation. It will easy to allow vertical reaction, vertical moment. Clear? Here there are two support reactions. So number of hinges, two. Equilibrium equations available, three. Number of support reactions, three plus two, five. So using in empirical relation, I equal R minus E minus H, you are getting zero. Hence the, this structure is also determinate structure. So we move on to the last problem. Here I have given hinge two reactions. Here also hinge two reaction. Here one reaction. Totally five external support reactions and number of hinges. There are two number of hinges and equations of equilibrium available three. Clear? Using three parameters in final equation that is R minus H minus E, we are getting zero. Hence this is also statically determinate structure. Clear? So these are uh, regarding some few empirical uh, uh, numericals empiric using empirical relations. We solved some numerical problems in case of beams that is static indeterminacy of the structures. If you're having any doubts regarding these concepts, please put your mail or you can pin me, pin me in inbox. Thank you. Thank you very much.